My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, guten Morgen aus Deutschland, good morning from Germany. For this one, I literally had to push myself to even get going on recording anything because uh, not even a week ago we had a what I ate uh, uh, today or in a day, I don't even care. Um, and so uh, 600 pounder wants to keep stuff in her face. Let's see uh, uh, what uh, that is going to be like because that's no, not. Um, the title is what I eat on a cheat day. Uh, let me clarify that or translate that for her. She eats whatever she wants every day, all day. This is why she hasn't been losing any weight. And so what I eat on a cheat day basically means I want to stuff my face on camera and I needed to come up with a title that would sell that. Um, the video is nine minutes long. I'm going to cut a whole lot of that out. And we're gonna end on her latest TikToks, and so if you want to see those, uh, stick around to the end. And there she is, um, boring look on her face because she has nothing to offer but to stuff her face, but that's what her life revolves around, and so that's all she has. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. What is up, Amber? Not much has changed. So today I'm going to be filming a what I ate today video. Wow, you look happy because you get to stuff your face and I get to report you for eating on camera. That's the only reason why I'm here. So my goal usually is to stay below 2,000 calories. What ifs? But what has been helping me? If she had ever one day in her entire life eaten around 2,000, she would have lost weight. But uh, yeah. Personally? from overeating or just giving up in general. Which you do every single day. Instead of like having a standard cheat day. Yeah, every day is a cheat day in Amber's life. Where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I asked. Which is what you did every single day. Absolutely wanted. And then that would spiral me for weeks and I could not get back on track. Uh, because you were never on track, all you ever did was stuff your face and lie about it on camera. So what I do now instead, which I've done twice already, and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet. I yes, you have. I am still losing weight. No, you're not. And uh, the proof I'm going to show um, a little later in this video when I show all the latest TikToks you've posted, you idiot. And I'm feeling really, really good. Yeah, of course you feel good because you lie your ass off. This is how you make your money. People, for whatever reason that is completely unknown to me, still click on your videos. That's how you pay your bills and that's how you buy all these masses of food that you ingest every single day. So what I've been doing is a lot is stuff your face all day long without any regard to uh, how much calories it is, if it's a, a too many carbs or whatever. You've also not been moving a lot. Um, that is going to show uh, nicely in the TikToks, but uh, keep going. Allowing myself to have like my own version of a cheat day. Ugh, cheat day. Don't talk about cheat days every single day in your life. Is, uh, is what would be a cheat day for others. Not even that. I don't know what would have to happen to the majority of us out here to eat as much as she eats on a on-track day. <laughs> I mean, come on. Girl, you don't need to be standing there with your 600 pounds and holding speeches about cheat days when we can see that every single day is a cheat day. 
and what that means i'm giving my and plus she already has her feeder necklace back on or she never took it off myself like a different calorie limit so i want to stay below 2500 right right look at the eyes basically spread the lies spraying out of her eyes that is ridiculous she is full of shit just like she's been for years now so usually by doing that i don't lose weight the next day i usually stay the same uh yeah but you've been lying about your weight and so there is no weight loss going on and you have not been honest about your weight in years and uh you know what's almost amusing now i don't know i can't decide i i i keep switching back and forth between being bored being annoyed with her or being amused that she is still turning in the same circles trying to generate the views on her channel with the same bullshit with the same huge body with the same talking about how she is on a diet i mean right now look at her you can almost see the dupe and delight uh because she is just completely full of shit but this has helped me so much right staying on track so that mm -hmm. you have not been on track in years that is my goal for today stay below 2500 this is my version of like a cheat day right right you can't be serious amber you cannot be serious i mean whatever drugs you are on i would like to get some because if they make a completely delusional and detached from reality i mean every aspect of it i would like to get some if i did not allow myself to do this and i constantly thought about how bad i wanted to eat like this or that or extra things that is when i binge yeah that's enough of that now you're back to binging now you're back to saying that you're binging are you going to talk about the binge monster again i mean she just reheats old topics left and right uh i'm not sure why maybe because she is that dumb she can't come up with anything new uh but that's enough of that let's move on a little bit to make this uh a little shorter so none of my meals are gonna make sense I'm they they never do because you stuff portions in that mouth that are beyond belief to most of us out here i'm not having like a standard breakfast today you hardly ever do and uh plus you are awake most hours of the night and so you sleep during the day so when you talk about breakfast or chantal it makes absolutely no sense to people out here i will be eating processed foods of course like always because you are not on a diet you are on a path of self-destruction i will be eating on camera and that will cost you money because i will report you for it because no 600 pounder that's been glorifying obesity on her channel should still be able to eat on her channel when she has proven that she cannot drop a pound not even when she saw tried to sell us the weight loss surgery arc not even a pound a month or was it a week i can't remember but she never lost any weight she was already on the path of just gaining and gaining and so yeah no 600 pounder that uh, has absolutely no control over her food addiction um that just admitted to uh suffering from binge eating disorder again and that he's binging uh, uh should be eating on camera absolutely not not in my world i don't support that and so i'm going to get the timestamps to report her for um self-harm just like tons of disclaimers but that is fine i give you the disclaimer that i'm gonna report uh if you stuff food in your mouth uh, i'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see okay i can safely say that i have not been on track this consecutively um you have not been on track in years is what you wanted to say actually right because you see yourself standing there don't you i mean let's just call a spade a spade you haven't lost any weight in years it has been years that is why i feel safe to show you guys like what i'm eating because i'm yeah you're full of shit and you haven't lost any weight and you have not been on track but go ahead and give me the timestamps uh when you stuff your face i'm gonna write head frame mindset whatever it may be just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and 
<laughs> that is so ridiculous. That is like I don't know. They're 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 both totally idiotic, Chantal and her. Uh, like when they say they're aware of the fact that it's processed food or that it's not healthy food, but it's better than that. Yeah, that's the kind of mindset that gets you to 600 pounds, you know? What made me at 1.572 pounds? Um, 700 pounds and now you're roughly 600, okay? Let's just correct the numbers and, um, and not lie so much, Amber. Hmm? Alright, let's get into it let's okay you guys so the first thing i'm gonna have which i okay i'm gonna skip ahead yeah and there we have it some greasy slop of course she eats it out of the bowl uh because why not right and we're getting close to the money stuff. shot mm, there it is that's good two mm -hmm. so i'm gonna easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10 yeah, sure. Your your taste buds are fried, and so you have no idea um, what good tasting food is. Wait, are we gonna get a third timestamp? Oh, I need a drink. There she is. Hold on. So yeah, she's completely obsessed with uh, still trying to sell us that she has any control over how many calories she ingests every day, and uh, yeah, if if that's what uh, gets her through the day. Sure, we all can tell she's on a path of self-destruction. If she cannot see it and she doesn't get the professional help that she actually needs and needed years ago already, that is uh, her choice. I think for now she's done lying about her diet. Speaking of Twinkie, you guys wanted an update on her. She's doing. Yeah, well, it's been a while, you know, and... Um, I've been mentioning it on my channel, we're not getting any updates on her, just like we're not getting any updates on uh, what happened to your dad. You know, he was in critical condition several times during the past few years when you felt like clickbaiting and exploiting his uh, condition and then we never got an update. That is how dizzy you are and that is part of the reason why nobody cares anymore what you have to say amazing she took all her antibiotics she no longer has any abscess a lot Good. of people were asking i know this is like i should probably talk about this in a vlog but since i'm here um a lot of people are like why didn't you take her to a primary vet he does have one here it's just i couldn't get her in you couldn't were you so busy in an emergency so i had to go somewhere else so i had that's why i had to go to an emergency vet because okay. when i called they were like yeah we can see her in a few days and i'm like no 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 like i want like i was so worried i want her to be seen. oh you were so worried you didn't give a fuck about her before now all of a sudden you're so worried uh it sounds a little bit to me like you're trying to uh, correct what happened in the past and I explained it to you <laughs> with the eternal spiral in the last video anything you've done on the internet that you've documented and made money off of is still available for people to see and that will always follow you you were extremely cold-blooded that day when you said that Twinkie was in so much pain and you just went out to go shopping and go out to eat, then get her some willy-nilly treats from Walmart and then um, at the same time Michael B. Petty um, showed proof that there would have been an emergency vet that you could have taken her to. You are a piece of shit for doing that and what you're doing now does not reverse that old, you know, documented action on your channel. I mean, like now. So well, then that's when they recommended the emergency vet that I actually went to, which I loved. And by the way, the vet was a subscriber. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Amber. No, absolutely not. That vet was not a subscriber. And uh, you know what I find strange? Since she moved from Kentucky to Oklahoma, she's come across so many subscribers and so many fans. And you know why? Because there's nobody around to tell on her. Nobody. You know, Becky, you know, uh, Beck, we know now would come clean on a few things here and there concerning Amber, but now she feels like she can just lie and nobody calls her out on it. And so that's why we've been hearing about her running into a lot of fans and people admiring her, just like um, her was probably 
I'm, I'm guessing it was probably uh, the mother's boyfriend in that casino uh, that approached her because why would he ask why she's in Oklahoma when she had moved uh, a month prior so if he had been a fan he would have known that so miss me with that bullshit Amber no the vet was absolutely not <clears throat> your subscriber not even a fan because anybody that knows what you're like can automatically not be a fan because then if they know you they know what you're capable of doing and nobody's a fan of that kind of person okay hello if you're watching and they didn't actually tell me until after everything was said and done and you're shaking your head because you're lying your butt off again and see it's absolutely unnecessary nobody's asking for this information um you don't have to lie your way out of anything you just lie to lie because you want the drama and nobody cares anymore and that's that makes it almost funny um that you still lie about things that you don't need to lie about um this is not just embellishing this is completely flat out telling lies just because she's so bored with her life that she has driven against the wall which i thought was like very professional and they were just like i love you i know who you are and i was like oh my yeah i love you is very professional and any vet would tell you they love you uh that makes it even more believable amber uh-huh in your delulu land maybe but not in the real world out here uh because i think i can speak for most of us when i say most of us have been to the vet and we know that our vets don't tell us they love us the first time they see us okay got that honey bun sweetie pie oh my god so she saw me like cry for Twinkie because like when I had to sign this like paper for Twinkie to be sedated, like I literally had like a tear come down. Oh, it was probably one of your rhinestones dropping. I don't think you cried because you couldn't even cry when you pretended uh, that uh, your caretaker had broken up with you. Because it scared me because it's like I had to sign if I wanted them to like help her breathe if she stopped breathing. Or okay, she sh she comes off a, a, like a five-year-old that tells some fantasy story. I'm done with that. Let's see if she has anything else to say that might be interesting. So, of course, we're going to continue the path. High fat, high caloric and uh, salt laden because she's not watching what she's eating. Uh, that's pretty clear by now. And another timestamp for when I report her for self-harm. But it's the best texture and it tastes so good. And you really do get a lot of these little thingies. And you guys know that I love... See, just stuff in face, no control over it. Just stuff in, talk in, stuff in. Alright, so next thing I'm having are two of these pulled... And it seems like we're coming up on the next timestamp. There it is. Yep. Why does she not just call these videos stuffing face? 600 pounder stuffs face. Uh, you know, that would uh, let the feeders know, even though she is wearing the feeder necklace, that would let the feeders know that uh, that kind of video is coming up and we could just all ignore it. You know? That's tasty. Yeah, your filter is not working, your face is all round, weird. It's almost like you're gaining weight, but with the diet you are on, it's not really a mystery how you do that. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, with the fried, uh, uh, fried taste buds, that is absolutely no wonder. I do love Tapatio, you guys know me. Like, Tapatio girly pop, so. Mm, no, uh, wh what did we call her? Burly flop? Or slob? I can't remember. <laughs> I do want to try it with tap. A lot of people ask why I like tapatio so much. I actually, just stuff your face and shut up. Who cares? Stop with it. I just stuff it. Put it in the mouth where it's gonna do damage in your body because that is what you live for. Use it as my go-to hot. Yeah, whatever. Just stuff it in your face. Sauce. Since I was literally like eight years old. Okay, stuff it. I did have a. Shut up! She's finally done flapping. There it is. Yep. So we're about to... Filming herself committing slow suicide on a public platform. 
<laughs> Do pin the light because she's an asshole like that. Let's just move on. And of course she's still popping the um the is that a diet soda? I can't see, but the sodies because she can afford it because she's not counting calories. So she basically managed to get through the entire day without eating anything healthy and without moving, but um that is the choices she makes for herself. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh, I took my melatonin, which of course she's still popping those because she still hasn't caught on that you're not supposed to take them forever you're supposed to only take them here and there and if she read the label on the back then she wouldn't know this is the best but she doesn't care what she stuffs in that body and so it's the brand ollie it's the okay, uh, do you have any control over how often you've mentioned those gummies on your channel already sleep I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, but I'm so tired. Wow. And I forgot to end this vlog. I had about 2200 calories today. So No, you did not. And uh, also I'm going to cut you off because I've had enough of that tired face of yours and the bored uh, voice. And so let's just check into her TikToks. Okay, so here are her latest TikToks, starting from the newest down. So this is the latest one uh, she's posted. Uh, of course, I'm gonna play them without the sound because there are uh, there's copyrighted music. And uh, yeah, look at her uh, doing the duck lips and uh, uh, posting this thirst trap content because she's not in a relationship. She's just lying about that. We all knew that. And I know that there are people out there that are trying to pin her and repost what she said before when she said she was single or she started talking. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Definitely 600 pounds, huge legs, everything dropping and uh, no weight loss in sight. And uh, I always want to refrain from commenting on how she wears sundresses over these tops. It's completely cringy but then again she never leaves the house and so that's fine that is okay but yeah uh, trying to make us believe that she's on track or she's been losing weight and she's lost 40 pounds by now but still looks as big as before uh, absolutely delusional but so is uh, posting this kind of content when you pretend to be in a relationship just because you can deal with the fact that two of your girlfriends that um, don't even want to be in touch with you anymore and that dumped you for your hor horrific ways. Uh, one of them is getting married, the other one is in a serious relationship. So serious that she changed her um, her status on Facebook. And so there we have that, rubbing on herself, being a complete whore on the internet. That is fine. Uh, this is actually voice. I could have left that in. So the question is, did you really become popular on YouTube for trolling and eating on camera? And uh, she says, uh, let me think. Yeah, it's a man's voice. It's not her voice. If you're interested in the original, you can go over to her TikTok and check it out yourself. And so, yeah, so now she's laying down on her pillow mountain because she's still trying to land a caretaker. That is not going to happen, of course, because by now uh, she has made the rounds uh, on the Internet and everybody knows what a horrific human uh, being she is trying to... Um, catfish people with uh, which is idiotic because she shows herself with, for the most part without filters on her youtube channel and then she goes on tiktok and tries to look all dainty and uh, uh sexy even though people know she has no sex life because she smells bad because she doesn't care about uh, taking care of herself and so yeah this this is all i got for for that uh, for her latest vlog and for her TikTok thirst trap content. Oh, here she is as big as ever, uh, cooking a little bit, that may be thinking that that's how she's gonna land a caretaker. Uh, how did you create a whole community who is obsessed with everything you do? Well, we're just in, not, not so much obsessed with what she does, but uh, just watching the train wreck, you know. 
And so, yeah, this is all I got for today. Thank you for listening to this and watching this. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.